And as you can see, this is running perfectly as well. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. In today's video we will learn how to upload a sketch from your Arduino onto the 80 tiny 85 chip so that you can make some of your own tiny projects for in the future. I wanted to make this video because there aren't many tutorials on the internet left that are quite up to date so I wanted to make a video of my own showing you. Before we can start plugging in all our wires we firstly have to open up the Arduino IDE then go to file then examples after this, number 11 Arduino ISP and open up the Arduino ISP example. When this has opened, you have to plug in your Arduino, like so. Then select Tools and check whether your board and your port are set up correctly. Then press Upload. This sketch makes it so that the Arduino Uno will behave as an in-system programmer ISP. This is used to program other microcontrollers through the use of wires and this is needed with the 80 tiny 85 chip as there is no other way to upload our sketch to the chip. When the upload is done, we can have a look at the schematic. As you can see, you'll be needing an Arduino Uno, an 80 tiny 85 or 45 chip for that matter, a 10 microfarad capacitor, some wires, a breadboard, a 20 a 220 ohm resistor and an LED to test our 80 tiny 85 chip to make sure if it's actually working. Furthermore, after this is working, I will hook up the chip with a CR2032 battery and a CR2032 battery holder. If you look at the picture on screen now, you can see the pinout of the 80 tiny 85 chip right now. Pin number 1 in the upper left corner is the reset pin. Pin 2 and 3 are two analog input pins which can be used for output as well. Beneath this one we have a ground pin. Then to our right we have pin 5 and 6 which are PWM pins. And above this one is pin 7 which is also an analog input pin. And the last one, pin 8, is the VCC pin which is needed to power the chip. So this leaves us with 5 pins that we that we can actually use within the 80 tiny 85 chip. But to upload a sketch to our 80 tiny 85 chip, we will be using 6 pins. 7 if you count in the pin that we will be using to test our LED with. So let's start with hooking up the wires. Firstly, I will be unplugging our Arduino Uno. Next, we will start with plugging in the 8080. 80 tiny 85 chip into the breadboard, like so. The little dot in the upper left corner indicates the first pin, so that's the reset pin. This is the first pin that we'll be hooking up. Attach our first wire on the Arduino Uno from pin 10 to pin 1 on our, on our 80 tiny 85 chip. After this, we can hook up pin 11 to 13 from the Arduino Uno to pin 5 to 7 on our 80 tiny 85 chip, so that's 11 to 5, 12 to 6, and 13 to 7. When this is done, we can hook up our 5 volts and our ground of the Arduino Uno to our breadboard, like so. Now we can attach one negative wire to our ground pin on the 80 tiny 85. And let's do the same for our positive side to our VCC pin on the 80 tiny chip. Now, to retain the Arduino Uno from resetting, we will add in the capacitator from our reset pin to the ground pin. Make sure the negative side of the capacitor is towards the ground pin. You can identify the negative side of the capacitor by its shorter leg or by looking on the side of the capacitor 
and it being, me being marked with a negative symbol. Now that the chip is ready to be programmed, let's hook up our LED to our pin 4. According to the pinout, then let's add in the resistor and hook this up to the ground of the breadboard. On to our Arduino IDE again. Since the 80 tiny 85 is limited to only a thousand bytes, I think, I will write a quick and short program for the LED to blink on and off. So let's start with declaring like usual again. But first, open up a new sketch and then let's start with declaring like usual again and let's identify our pin 4 to an integer called LED. Now onto the setup. Let's set our pin mode to output on our LED. Next we go to our loop. Let's start with a digital write to our LED and let's set and let's set it to high. Now a delay of one second. Now again a digital write, but this time low. And to finish things off, another delay of one second. Now before we can run this, we have to download the 80 tiny files. So go to File and select Preferences. And then paste in the link on screen or in the description down below into the additional boards manager's URLs. So you paste it in here and then click OK. After this, go to Tools, then to Boards and click on Boards Manager. And in here you want to search for the term 80 tiny. And when the 80 tiny selection box shows up, you can select this and then press install. Now that we have the correct files, you can close this. Then again go to tools, then board, and select the 80 tiny 25 45 85 down below. Next you want to select the correct processor. In my case this is the 80 tiny 85. So select this and after this change the programmer to Arduino as ISP because like I told you it has to act like an ISP otherwise the sketch won't upload correctly. This is very important. And when this is done we can plug in your Arduino again. Now upload and if everything went according to plan, we will now see the LED blink on and off. If you want to test it even more, we can hook up the small CR2032 battery with a holder. And as you can see, this is running perfectly as well. So the only thing I did, I got rid of all the wires that were hooked up to the Arduino Uno and then I put a battery between our VCC pin and between our ground. And there you go. So, what to do now? I advise you to buy a 80 tiny 85 chip, a 10 microfarad capacitor, and I'll have a link in the description down below. I don't think the 80 tiny 85 chip and the capacitor are included into the starter kit, but I still advise you to buy the starter kit or the cheaper version. Link to that will be in the description as well. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry. But if you want to support me definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. As well there will be a link to my Patreon page containing all of my files that I used in today's video such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code. Link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.